Jimmy Carter says he is comfortable with Mitt Romney. Carter knows there's almost nothing in Romney's record different from Obama. More importantly, he knows Romney virtually destroyed the Republican Party of Massachusetts. Like Hoover and Nixon, Romney, if elected, will likely implement the same liberal policies as Democrats. But Republicans will get the blame, and the Democrats will come back stronger than ever. The first excuse Romney apologists trot out is, you must vote Romney because of the Supreme Court. But the record shows Governor Romney appointed only liberal judges. Rather than fight the overturn of the marriage law, Romney ordered gay marriage, just as he ordered abortion drugs at Catholic hospitals. Romney is a Mormon fanatic who held the highest ranking Mormon leadership position in Boston, a stake president, the equivalent of a cardinal in the Roman Catholic Church. Romney believes he's on a divine mission to save the country and the world by becoming the first Mormon president. That is why he has no shame in saying and doing anything to become president. This end justifies any means. Like Jack Kennedy, Romney has said, let me assure you that no authorities of my church, or of any other church for that matter, will ever exert influence on presidential decisions. Kennedy may not have kept his marriage vows, but when it came to politics, he was a rock of Gibraltar compared to Romney. Moreover, he was just a Catholic layman who wasn't that serious about his faith. But no matter how many times Romney has flip-flopped in politics, he seems to have never flip-flopped on his intense Mormon commitment. That includes the Mormon belief that Lucifer is the same level as Jesus as sons of God, and that good Mormons will get their own planet to rule someday. Those who abet Mormonism with their votes for Romney will suffer similar bad consequences as those who voted for Obama. Our country will accelerate its spiritual and economic decline, and millions of Christians who voted for Romney, unless they totally repent, will find themselves in the same boat as the country. There will be several pro-life, pro-family conservative candidates running for president this year, including former Congressman Virgil Goode, who is the presidential candidate of the Constitution Party, which will be on the ballot in all, or virtually all, 50 states. Please trust the Lord, not the Republican Party, to bless America and you. I beg of you, don't vote for Mitt Romney.